Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we completed and tested post workout API. And in today's video, we will create a workout component with routing. And after this, we will create workout reactive form with the controls as well. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, we need to create workout component first. And to do this, we will right click on this components folder and we will open this in integrated terminal. And in this terminal, we need to give the command which is ng, g for generate, c for component. And we will name this component as workout. And as you can see, our workout component is ready. And now we need to create a route for this component. And to do this, we will open app.route.ts. And in this file, we will duplicate our existing activity route. And after this for the path we will give it as workout and then we need to update the component and we will replace this activity component with a workout component. And we will import this from dot slash components slash workouts slash workout dot component. And with this our routing is completed. Now let's save this file. And after this we will open components and then we will open workout and then workout.component.ts And in this components in the imports array first of all we need to import the shared module And after this we will create a variable grid style and for the width we will give it as 100% And for the text align we will give it as center And after this we need to create a form group and we will name this as workout form and the type of this will be form group and after this we need to create an array to store the list of the types of the workout and we will name this as list of type and for the value we will give them as cardio strength flexibility and so on and after this we will create a constructor for this component and in this constructor we need to inject form builder to build that active form and after this we need to inject user service to call the APIs and then we need to inject ng message service to show the messages to the user and after this we will click on quick fix and we will add all missing imports and now let's create ng on init method and in this we need to create the controls for our workout form and to do this we will write this dot workout form is equals to and here we will use our form builder and after this we will call group method and in this group method we need to mention the controls and the first control will be type of the workout and for the by default value we will give it as null and after this for the validators we will give them as validators dot required and after the type control we will create a control for the duration and after the duration we will create a control for the date and after the date we will create a control for calories burned and with this the ts code is completed now let's save this file and let's open workout.component.html and in this file we will create a div and in this div we need to create a row to show the heading as workout and to do this we will create a div and we will write ng row in the tag to make it a row and in this row we will create h1 tag and for the tag we will give it as workout and for the ng style we will pass grid style variable and after this row we need to create another row for the form group so we will create another div and in this row we need to create two columns and in the first column we will create the active form and in the second column we will show the past workouts so we will create a div tag and after this we will write ng call to make it a column and for ng flex we will give it as 2 and in this div we will create ng card tag and for the ng title we will give it as post new workout and in this ng card now we need to create a form tag and in this form tag for the form group we will bind workout form and in this form tag now we need to create form item and form controls and to do this we will create ng form item tag and in this ng form item tag we will create ng form control and for the error we will give this as please input the calories and in this ng form control tag we will create input tag and for the form control name we will give it as calories burned and for the placeholder we will give enter the calories you burned and with this the form item for calories burned is completed. Now we need to create form item for the duration. 
and to do this first of all we will create ng form item and ng form control tags and after this to get the input we will use input tag and for the form control name we will give this as duration and after this form item we need to create a form item to pick the date and to do this we will again create ng form item and ng form control tags and in these tags we will create ng date picker and for the form control name we will give this as date and after this we need to create last ng form item to get the type of the workout and to do this we will again create ng form item and ng form control tags and in this ng form control we will create ng select tag and for the form control name we will give it as type and for the placeholder we will give select the type and now in this ng select we need to write the code to show the options and to do this we will create ng options tag and after this we will apply ng for loop and after the let keyword we will name the single type as type and after the off keyword we will give list of type variable and after this for the ng label we will give this as type and for the ng value we will give this as type as well and with this the form item is completed to get the type and after this we will create a button tag and for the text we will give it as post workout and after this we will disable this button if our workout form is invalid and with this our html code is completed as well now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our workout reactive form and on the browser we will click on this workout menu and as you can see we got redirected to our workout page and on the top of this page we got heading which says workout and after this we have a card to post new workout and in this we have a reactive form with the controls of calories burned, duration, date and type and at the end we have post workout button. And now for the calories burned let's give them as 56 and after this for the duration let's give this as 6 minutes and after this let's select the date and at the end we will select the type as dance and as you can see our post workout button got enabled. And that's it for today's video. In the next video, we will write the code to call post workout API in our Angular application.